Gothic by Philip Fracassi. Shitty title. Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Welcome to the channel, I do appreciate it. Please forgive me for what I said just a minute ago. Not a bad title. Uh, that's a quote from the book, if you've read it. Anyway, that's not a spoiler. However, I got something in the mail called Gothic by Philip Fricasse. Ever hear of it? And I already did a review, and I showed you this arc. This is a Cemetery Dance Trade Edition arc um, that was gifted to me, and I read the book, and I did truly love it. I strongly recommend you check out the book, check out my review, tell you what I thought, tell you a little bit about the book. And uh, in a nutshell, there's an author, 50, late 50s, named Tyson Parks. He's a horror writer, had a lot of success, but now his success has really fallen. He's lost his passion for horror. He's wanting to write historical fiction. However, nobody's wanting to buy it, and he's really not writing that great of stuff. And so his wife buys him a present, this very old, very strange desk, and suddenly everything changes for the guy writing on this desk, and I'll leave the rest of it for you. But I'm talking about Gothic today because my ship came in. I was in North Alabama, far, far from home, from this home anyway, for six days, and I had a bunch of stuff show up in the mail, a bunch of Philip Fracassi stuff. So you're gonna be seeing that. <clears throat> but what I'm here to talk about right now is Gothic, the limited edition, 235 numbered copies from Earthling Publications. And I got carried away mashing them buttons. When they said it was coming out and they gave us the time and date and all that when you can order it, having seen what happened with Boys in the Valley and what happened to the prices on the secondary market, I, I bought that one before it sold out and I got so lucky. When this one was coming out and I saw how few there were going to be, I had to have one. But I instead bought two. Now, <clears throat> Paul Miller has said he would match my number for Boys in the Valley. So we'll check that out. And then the other one will be some odd random number. But that's enough talking. Let's open it up and take a look. The one I just showed you was Cemetery Dance Trade Edition, which hasn't been released yet. I don't know when that comes out. I think it comes out maybe the first or second quarter of 2023. Um, but this is the, the true first edition, first print of this book, the Earthling Publication Signed and Limited Edition. It's got cover artwork by Glenn Chadbourne. I believe the retail price was $85 per. And like I said, it's signed, uh, signed by the author, Philip Fricasse, and numbered to 235 copies. So... I messed up on my cut tip job there, but checking out this massive box. And like you said, there should be two of them in here. Lots and lots of this white stuff. It doesn't taste good, so uh, don't ask me how I know. But anyway, let's flip through here and pull out a couple. Yes, two books. All right. Two books wrapped in bubble envelopes. Envelopes. In a massive box stuffed full of that stuff. So you can't say this. You can't say Earthling Publications doesn't protect their stuff when they ship it. Great job, Paul Miller, the uh, the owner of Earthling Publications. Great job. Now let's take a look and see what we came here to see. Gothic. And I've seen pictures of this. In fact, I've seen videos of this. I'm late because I was off goofing off, meeting people, doing things, having fun with my youngest son. But anyway... There it is, an unbelievable dust jacket artwork, Glenn Chadbourne. And I talked about the desk, and so this is uh, his, his idea of what the desk looks like based on descriptions in the book. I don't know how much involvement Philip Fricasse had in that artwork commission, but there it is, and it's a great picture for us all to see. Take it out here, show you what the dust jacket looks like in its entirety. So that's what it's going to look like on the sitting on the shelf. By the way, before we move on any farther, 19th edition made custom slip cases for Boys in the Valley, 
a limited edition book from Philip Fricasse, and I just read that they will be making custom slip cases for this Earthling Publications uh, um, production of Gothic. It'll be kind of along the same lines as the one in Boys in the Valley, and I think, I don't know how many there's going to be. It might be a few, so pay attention. Uh, anyway, uh, here's our book. It, uh, I would say, I guess you call that, I don't know. But anyway, the material, what do you call that? Is that cloth? It's not quite cloth. I don't know what you would call it. Sorry. <clears throat> There's our spine with that foil stamping. It's slightly embossed. A beautiful coloration. And let's take a look and see. Oh, wow. Let's see if you can see those in paper. See, it's, uh, it's hard to see in this light. Why can't you see that? Uh, beautiful in papers. It's textured. Almost got a leathery sort of a texture. I had it there for a second. Leathery sort of texture. There you go. Looks so nice. Beautiful in papers. And there it is. There's my my signature page. And it, this is my matching number 184. Same as Boys in the Valley. And it looks like I got... I don't know how many of these were were available. I read that some of these... Signature pages had inscriptions on them. Some of them were in purple, and the majority of them were in red. So I don't know exactly how many there were, but I think there were only only a handful. I don't know. Some of them in this great, great purple color. So it's kind of neat. A little bit of a variant for my matching number that goes with my uh, my boys in the valley from Philip Fricasse, and I don't think. There are interior illustrations in this book, but that's how dumb I am. Because for just as soon as I flip through the beginning of part three, there you go. So let me flip through here a little more. I'm seeing color. I'm seeing some color. Are there any differences? Are there differences in our part dividers there? So nice. There is, there is artwork inside of the book. I just don't know. How it ch if it changes as we go through, or if it's the same. Let me pull up another one here. Pull up another one and see if I can pick out any variation. And I don't know if they change throughout the book, uh, but at a glance, at a glance they look the same. I don't know if if I looked a little bit closer, maybe I could find some variation. But anyway, there are those interior illustrations on the the part dividers. And then the, the end papers in the back, like the front. Just excellent, phenomenal, beautiful. And like I said, I got two copies, uh, but anyway, that's, <laughs> that's the same book. There is Gothic, beautiful, phenomenal. Take a look at that binding. Man, it looks nice. Smithsonian bindings from Earthling Publications. What else? What else? Some folks want to know. What does the type set, what does the font, what does it look like? Well, there's the page, exactly what it looks like. Just beautiful. I'm always excited to get stuff from Earthling Publications. Philip Fricasse is one of my very favorite authors. A great fella, check him out on the Facebook collector's group called Fricasse Freaks. And Philip gets involved in there, participates in the conversations, asks questions, sometimes makes great offers special offers for the for the friends and the fans that join us on the group and uh that's about all the lies i can think of to say thank you for your time say la vie baby Doo -doo.